Pokemon Journeys is about to bring the hype with the semi-final matches and I can't wait. What's up Pokechamps, Infamous Trainer here and today there is a lot of Pokemon Journeys news that has dropped with the semi-finals of the Masters 8, Ash's Pokemon and more to talk about and I wanted to get this info out to you guys and give my thoughts so without further delay let's just go ahead and dive in. Alright, so let's get this huge portion said. Both Leon vs. Diantha and Ash vs. Cynthia will be full 6v6 battles. Yes, you heard right, 6v6, not 3v3, 6v6. This alone is insane and something I did not expect. And being honest, I'm super happy about it, as a lot of us, including myself, have the impression that we may get the same format throughout the entire Masters 8, that being a 3v3, but that's not the case. So quickly let's break down what's going on here. As we know in the episode 121 of Pokemon Journeys we have the Climax Begins, Ash's Master Tournament Experience. Now based on what we know about the episode this will be a recap of senses about the Masters 8 for Ash with some small combos to and about Ash. But now knowing that we're getting a full 6v6 battle with Leon vs Diantha, I think the tail end of the episode is going to kick off with that match starting. Then from there it would carry over to episode 122, that being the semi-final 1, overwhelming victory. As we can expect, Leon will be winning this battle, but based on the title, I'm sort of hoping that Diantha won't get past 3 of his Pokemon to make it really epic. Ultimately having her final Pokemon be Mega Gardevoir, that would be the one that goes down. As for Leon's Pokemon, we'll save that for a different video. But from there we get the episode of Journeys being episode 123, and that being the semi-finals to Dazzle. Which of course is the battle that is going to cover Ash vs Cynthia and again is going to be a 6v6 which is bonkers, Cynthia using all 6 Pokemon is insane to hear. Not to mention we have a quote about the official battle and it says this, Ash is driven into a corner in face of Cynthia's strategy. Cynthia has the upper hand in battle experience, knowledge of moves and overall strength. Just how will Ash fight back? Time to show the full strength of the 6 he trained. Just based on that, this is going to be an epic battle, something that we have been waiting years for. Not to mention it's also accompanied by a brand new screenshot showing off Ash and his Pokemon alongside Go and Grookey, and it makes me super excited as they're getting hyped for the battle. Though I am hyped, I am worried a little bit as one episode for a 6v6 is very concerning. But there's even more as we possibly have some new information about Ash's Pokemon. As there's an image going around that jumps into more about Pokemon merch and once again connects to the anime, but we're not 100% sure. This merch is for Takara Tommy merch and shows off Pikachu, Mega Lucario, and Gengar with new moves. Looking at this, we actually have a standard moveset for Pikachu, but then for Lucario we have adding on Shadow Ball, Meteor Mash, and Close Combat. Which is interesting because it strips away Lucario's recently learned Bullet Punch, Steel Beam, and Double Team. Then for Gengar, it adds on Dark Pulse and Venoshock, taking away Dazzling Gleam and the brand new learned Will-O-Wisp. Now this is interesting and something we should take lightly as I don't imagine Ash switching up the moves of these Pokemon as he's not really pulling a Leon here. Though they could say that Ash has been training and with Lucario he learned close combat from Karina's Lucario or even Gengar taught him Shadow Ball. I mean there is ways to do it. Now with all of that great things going for Pokemon Journeys, here's my biggest issue. If the semifinals are a full 6v6, then why aren't we getting Ash's reserve Pokemon? Where is these other Pokemon he could be bringing in, like Infernic for the Cynthia battle? Ash has amazing reserve Pokemon that he could use, and he's not bringing them in so we can see the same Pokemon over again. Not to mention we just saw Pikachu, Gengar, and Dracovish battle against Steven, and we're going to see these same 3 Pokemon again for the next match. We don't really need to have them battle again, but for sure he'll have to have his Pokemon ready for Cynthia. And as much as I love all this new info, Ash's older Pokemon would make this better, it would just be the cherry on top. Overall, I hope Ash has a great counter for Garchomp, he's gonna need it for this battle. Well, what do you guys think about the latest news talking about these future episodes and the semi-finals? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as this is actually giving me hope for the final battle of Ash vs Leon. So if you did come to enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like up the video. Also click the notification bell, as of course there is more Pokemon content always coming. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video, thank you for watching, and uh, bye!